Great kickoff as it's time to get things started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Aggies' offense will have the first possession of the game. This has an old-school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field and all eyes are fixed. They are blue on him. Yeah, the old school because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention, but this guy's so good, he is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. And the Aggies will hustle to the line. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding them. Nice catch. Really need positive yards on second down. After the incompletion, they'll snap it from the 44. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Going deep. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. The Cougars offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it. The awareness, the ability to see the ball, to break on the football. And he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Looking for a man. It's Batir. Pressure coming. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, right through his hands. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. Takes the handoff. It's Parker. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his man. It's Hudson. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money man. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. On second down, he'll let it fly. Coming after him. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They want to just keep throwing it. Catch in the middle, it's Parker. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Washington State going quickly.
They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, 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 we're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. Dropping back, it's Mateer. Fires to the wideout. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Motion from the offense. They'll go to the air on third and short. It's in. Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. The coach has to be happy with them. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They'll start this drive with a pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. Out of the gun, the inside give. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. And you don't want to start this game with two straight punts. Big third down opportunity coming here. From the gun, wants to pass. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. And the Cougars are in the hurry up. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. The Cougars will snap it on first and 10. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Washington State has it all working right now. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way at... And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougar! Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. 
And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Quickly out to the tight end. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but makes life really easy on me on second down. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed over the middle. It's white. Take the profit, right? Pitch and catch. Defense and zone coverage. Receiver's got some access. Just spit it out to him. Let him catch it. Advance and get what he can get. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Utah State, up-tempo. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Give to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. From the 33, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. That's caught. It's white. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. And now let's see if the offense can bail itself out after the second down misfire. Quarterback on the keeper. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. These read option plays are very hard to stop because you got to have enough guys in the box to play that immediate run, but also always be ready for that quarterback to take the ball and scoot out wide. And when the quarterback operates this like a magician, it makes it even tougher. When he can see it, read it, and just flat go, those easy plays right there, I mean, he just picks up a little bit of yardage, but he can do it again and again and again, and it's just frustrating. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Dropping back, it's Mateer. Makes his connection. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. From the gun. Give on the inside. And they'll stop him just short of the first down. Just inches away from moving the sticks. Leaves it with the back. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Cougars come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll leave it with him. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And the Cougars want to move quickly. Now he's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down.
Firing to the right, complete. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's amazing in college football, the tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy, maybe you catch a flat route. Today, these guys have athleticism, and you just saw it from that dude after the catch on that last one. To the ground with the back. Headed to the end zone, and he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Cougars. What a nice touchdown run, and this is a team effort, right? It's got to start with the offensive line to give you that crease, and then the wide receivers start to kick in, and the running back, he handles the rest. Nice touchdown run. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And what a way to finish it off with a 21-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you've just simply got to make it. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the end route there. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. But when it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. The Aggies want to crank the tempo. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's White. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. This Utah State offense has it going. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. They'll run play action. Throws for the tight end. He caught it. And he will score! Touchdown, Utah State! And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. And they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half when you're fighting to come back by so many points. So great job getting points, get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives, David. Everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working, a lot of scoring. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Palmer, when you walk on the field. And at this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. 
Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. The throw to the outside is complete. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. Looking to throw, it's Mateer. Tight end finds a soft spot. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Using the quick game. They knock him down at the 40, but he picks up five, and it'll be enough for a first down. Washington State lines up quickly. They'll keep it on the ground here, off right tackle. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and 10. He'll try it again. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. The Cougars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Just a short pass to the tight end. And watch the offensive line here. They all block run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. And the D deny them on second and goal. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Back to throw, it's Mateer. Looking for the score! Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Washington State! Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better than that. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game. So, Palmer, no need to pay it. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Utah State, up-tempo. give to the running back really nice stop there from this senior leader after picking up a couple at second and eight he's looking to throw he looks that one in nicely he's brought down quickly minimal gain there still a bit short of the first down third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe
Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. The give to the back. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The play action fake. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Looking to throw. It's Mateer. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. And this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Looking for space, it's Parker. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Washington State sends out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He'll call for the fair catch here. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got it. All kinds of room to the right. The 30. He's at the 20. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And here's the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. Gonna let it fly. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Gives it to the back on the draw. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. Washington State going quickly. To the air, it's Mateer. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. The Cougars come to the line with a new set of downs. They're going back to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. They move the tight end all over. Trying play action. Fires to the big fella. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Washington State has it all working right now. Caught in the backfield, it's Maxwell. 
This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. They're going to throw it again. Good timing on the quick out. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Washington State will come to the line with a first and goal. Looking for a man. It's Matier. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Wazoo! Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Utah State up-tempo. Power football with the run. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fires to the wide out. Complete in the middle. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for a crease, it's Turner. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. He wants to throw it. A little screen to the running back. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The offense sets up chop at the 46 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the middle. It's caught. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. They'll run it from the gun. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. He'll pull it on the read. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. 
They've been really good moving the chains on third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. He'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And it's right down the boulevard. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Washington State lines up quickly. Wants to throw. It's Mateer. He makes the connection. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Wide receiver shows motion. Takes it from the gun on third down. Right down the middle. Makes a connection. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. He's got it on the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. They'll line up for a second down play. Back to the air one more time. Got his man quickly. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. On second down, looking to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Parker. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Finds a man in the middle. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance, and I mean you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. On first and goal, let's see if Washington State can get it in. He's going to pass. It's complete. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Now on second and goal. Back to throw. It's Mateer. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And the offense right now is moving in the wrong direction. They weren't able to get a touchdown on that first down play, now giving up a negative play on second down. You better be very careful about this third down play call. It's third down now. And they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They're trying to get to him. 
And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. And the field goal unit is on the field. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that will extend their lead even further. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. One of the first things I want to do when I come into a game is I'm going to go, where do I have the advantage? Where are my guys better than yours? And maybe they feel good about their matchup out wide. Some of those wide receivers making some of these big plays down the field. This is a good sign for this offense. Barely time to catch our breath after that one, and they've got it first and 10 threatening just outside the red zone. He wants to throw. He caught it. He gets it in. Touchdown, Aggies. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Feeling nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The defense all over that loose ball, and now they're bringing it back. Is this Christmas? Is this the gift-giving season? An absolute gift in the end zone, and the defense takes advantage, recovering the fumble for the touchdown. This time, it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender, seeing that ball in the end zone. Your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy, secure it, get you a touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. This has been a track meet running up and down the field so far, Jesse. It's amazing for this offense, right? Score a touchdown, go try to get a rest on the sideline. It feels like you blink and you're right back on the field having to go score another one, David. It just feels like it's going to be that kind of game. Well, so which defense can kind of change their identity a little bit, get more aggressive? You're giving up yards and touchdowns anyways. Who can get aggressive and maybe create a turnover? This is where you make the money on the drives. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like you've had a very enjoyable day there today in Pullman. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas on the Palouse at Morton Stadium. And the Aggies will kick it away to start the second half. 
He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Now they'll run the draw. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. Washington State going quickly. Back to pass. It's Mateer looking to the big tight end. A strike downfield. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. QB now has over 400 yards passing, guys, and you got to give everybody else in his supporting cast a ton of credit. Receivers, great job running routes, catching the football, and this offensive line has been outstanding, giving him time to throw. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Now the play fake. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle to prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They're bringing heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Washington State will have to boot it away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. He'll start this drive firing. Got it in the middle. It's Lane. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Up tempo for the offense. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the He'll do it himself. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. The Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Lane. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Fields to punt and try to pick up some yards. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. To the air, it's Mateer. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Sends it downfield. Catch inside the 25. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Cougars come to the line in the hurry up. On second down, they'll take to the air. On the run, fires downfield. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Trying to pound it in. Touchdown, Washington State. They look finished, but they're all the way back, and they have the lead. What a day, his third rushing touchdown. And when you've got your college fantasy football team going, this guy is racking those points up for you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The give to the left side. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth, but they can't move the chains. On third down, going up top. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Good field position to start this drive at their own 47. On the run, it's Parker. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Washington State lines up quickly. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Offense in the hurry up. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Dropping back, it's Mateer. Looking down the middle find a hole in that secondary. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Cougars have it in scoring position on first and goal. Powers forward. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cougar! 
have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third down, he drops the throw. He lost one down the sideline. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Good field position here as they start this drive from their 43. To the air, it's Mateer. Unloads to the wideout. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. He's looking to throw. This time it's complete. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That was and let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field. We're right and the play will stand. The quick out. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. To the ground, he's got it again. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Washington State going quickly. From the gun, running back on the move. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the ground to try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. The Cougars line it up with a first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now on second and goal. Power ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cougars. Well, well, well. 
somebody's been doing their box jumps. Wait, Ryan, getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone. That vertical way up in the air. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. To the air on first down. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Use the play fake, now to throw. Fires to the tight end. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Got the completion on the last play, still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. The short hands, it's White. Tackled after picking up the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Off the play fake. Going for the big play. He's got it inside the 25. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. with the run on first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Go straight ahead. Touchdown, Aggies! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. The more drives like this is what's needed. Ready to try the point after. And it's perfect. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver. It might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Quickly to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Off play action. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Got it behind the line. It's Hudson. 
And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Washington State sends the punt team onto the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Running it back, it's Freeman. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Utah State up tempo. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll run play action. Fires toward the end zone. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Utah State comes to the line with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He's going up top. Snags it. And he slipped through the crowd, and he'll house it. Touchdown, Utah State! You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the points come on a pass from 39 yards out. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Fires to the wideout. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. It'll be a draw. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Now facing a third and long. Looking downfield, it's Matier. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Washington State sends out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. So first play of the drive coming here from their own 49. Comes out throwing on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Lane. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced the punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. That ought to be enough for a Utah State first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Second down coming up. Quarterback on the keeper. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. And the Aggies in the hurry up. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Got his man! That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. 
did a nice job of it. This Utah State offense has it going. Caught in the backfield, it's Lane. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Hand off from the gun. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Utah State. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. On to attempt the try. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. They covered half the field with a 50-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Wazoo offense onto the field again. Quick release by the QB. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. A first down for the offense. Use the play fake now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Washington State lines up quickly. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the big fella. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. From the gun, the running back has it. They get it down to the 35 before he stopped. 10-yard pickup on the play, and it's a first down. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run? Oh, and it's picked off. This could be huge in a tie game. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. I get it. It's the fourth quarter. It's a tie game. I need to go out and make a play offensively. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to be on the sideline now after that interception. As a quarterback, I'm like, please, defense, please go out there and bail me out. Give me another opportunity to go take the lead and win this ball game. Guys, the Utah State offense about to give it another go. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabs it in the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Finds a tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Offense lining up quickly. 
The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. And the Aggies look to keep this drive humming. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Now it's second and goal. Here's the handoff. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. If they can get it in here, we could have a thrilling end to this game. It is third and goal. He'll pull it on the read. Touchdown, Aggies! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Washington State has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Pulls it, fired complete. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. The quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Washington State going quickly. Back to pass, it's Mateer. He's got his man. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They get to the line quickly. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. They'll go with a direct snap. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and 10. Grabbed in the middle, it's Freeman. And this guy has some shiftiness to him, and he showed it off to the defense after picking up a few. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. The give to the back. Stop just inside the 30 at the 29. It's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Wazoo eager to pay off this red zone trip. From the shotgun, the inside give. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest, pound that rock. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. He wants it all. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. 
It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Trying to get to him. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. I know that was tough, but as a quarterback, you got to know on fourth down, you cannot take a sack. Any way, shape, or form, you've got to be able to get rid of that football and give it an opportunity. That time, I know it wasn't blocked perfect, but the quarterback's got to have more sense of urgency. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. Yeah, they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys physical, ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. So this is going to come down to who's better in the trenches. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They want that clock to run. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. He'll signal for and make the fair catch right around midfield. The offense lining up for a first down play. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Zings it complete to the right. And how about the defense? How big was that stop? Forcing the punt, getting it back to the offense, and all of a sudden, you feel the momentum now on their side. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Back to throw, it's Mateer. Wide open downfield. Brought down at the 38, it's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Parker. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Everybody has to be set, they have to get it off. Lost to fire on second down. He's got the tight end. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And the Cougars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Release to the back. Makes the catch. It's Parker. They stop him just a link or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. He's back to throw on second down. And he will take it in. Touchdown, Washington State. What a massive play by this offense. Man, you needed it. Great execution. Now kick the extra point, tie this football game up late, or do you go for two? Do you go for the win? Do you try to take the lead? That is a you decision. This is supposed to be the easiest play in football, except when there's this much pressure. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they've got it locked up in the final minute after the touchdown and extra point. Bringing it out. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do, so tempo is going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time and get it a position to win. He wants to take the top off. He's got an open man. The offense takes a timeout with 30 seconds left. 
And what a huge play for the offense. Hitting that throw not only is big for their confidence, but it also flips the field. And off from the shotgun. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. They'll use a timeout with 26 seconds left on the clock. Right back to the well. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. And this one splits the uprights. And now they regain the lead. 